Hey everyone, welcome back to another Permislog episode. My name is Jonathan, and today I'm super excited to bring you something I've actually needed for quite a while now, which was the ability to show and hide elements in Oxygen based on UTM link parameters. Now this is going to be a premium bit of code, but if you are on the Permislug website on this post and you're logged in, the code snippet that you need will be at the bottom of the post ready to go. But what I'm gonna do is walk you through exactly what it can do and when you might want it. Now the UTM campaign builder is a really cool way for you to build custom URLs that you, you can use in specific marketing campaigns. You might use it if you're running Google or Facebook ad campaigns, if you wanna know whether people are clicking the links in your emails from text message campaigns, pretty much anywhere across the internet that you wanna be able to track users on your website, this is a great way to do it. Now this tool lets you input your website URL. You can set things like the campaign source, the medium, the name, those are the basic kind of required fields. And then you also have things like campaign term and content. In this particular example, I'm saying my campaign source is Google, our medium is cost per click, and you can see there's a few um, you know, examples like banner, email, that sort of thing. Spring sale is gonna be our campaign name, and then term, you could do something like you know, shoes. And then if we put something in the campaign content like V1, then you can see it's actually generating this custom URL down here for us, which is really cool. Now, if you're not familiar with what you're looking at, pretty much everything after that slash doesn't matter for the content or the functionality on your website by default. But what we can do is use this condition to show and hide elements based on whether or not these URL parameters are present. So as an example, on this sandbox install, forgive this landing page, it's never gonna convert, but just as an example, let's say you're sending traffic here and you wanna know whether or not this blue button is going to convert better or this orange one. You only want the blue one to show up if people come directly to this page, like they browse through your site and get here, or if they come to it from your Google Ads campaign, email, whatever you have set up, then this orange one is going to show up. Now what we can do is go over here to Oxygen, I'm gonna choose this orange button that I have, click on the conditions icon over here, click on set condition, add, and then you'll notice with that condition installed, you have a couple things up here. So you have this AB testing as a category, and then all of these options we just looked at. So source, medium, campaign, term, and content. Just choose one, so our UTM source is equal to Google. And these are case sensitive, so just keep that in mind. Add condition, our medium was cost per click, Add condition, our campaign was equal to spring underscore sale. And then our term was shoes. And then our content was, what did we say? V1 for version one. So now what's gonna happen is this condition is actually gonna verify that all of those conditions are true. All those parameters are present in the URL. And that's actually gonna make this button show up on the front end. If you only want one of those to be present, you can choose the or, but and will make sure that all of those are present. So let's go ahead and save this. And then if we refresh on the front end, then you'll notice that button goes away because none of those URL parameters are present. So that's pretty cool. Now, just to show you what it looks like, I'm gonna copy this URL. We'll go back over here and pop that in. And now our orange button is appearing and present because all of those parameters that we set are up there in the URL. Now to get rid of the blue button, you could basically just add one of these conditions except change the operator. So let's go back over here, select our blue button, and then you could do something like set condition UTM source does not equal Google. And then what we can do is just save this. We're gonna refresh the page which still has our UTM source as Google. So we'll refresh that. Our blue one goes away and the orange one is still present. And then to, just to show you the inverse, if I remove this real quick, then we have our blue button and the orange one is gone. So obviously this is a very simple example, but the principle applies because this is just a condition in Oxygen. You can pretty much put it on any element across your site, whether it be a div, image, you can use it to change things like headlines and text in your marketing campaigns. So this is super powerful, especially if you're a freelancer that works with other marketing agencies like I do. Often they're gonna have you build landing pages, and this is a really great way for you to enhance your own capabilities. Again, visit this post on the Permaslug website to get that code. As long as you're a member, you will have access to it, just like everything across the site at present and in the future. So go ahead and grab that lifetime deal while it's still available, and you won't regret it. As usual, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.